Let's convert an eSIM to a physical SIM card. Now, previously, if you switch to an eSIM and you no longer use your physical SIM card, but you wanna switch back, I'm gonna show you the steps. The first thing that we'll do is we'll hop into your settings here, and then we will tap on cellular about midway down there. Now you can see on here, I have an eSIM card. And if I wanna to switch to a physical SIM card, I can tap that little delete eSIM. So what this will do is it will delete the software version, the electronic SIM card in my phone. Now, after I go through that step of hitting that delete eSIM, the thing now that you'll have to do is register a physical SIM card with your cell phone provider. So in my case, I never actually removed that physical SIM card. So at the very kind of bottom left here, there's a little button. You get just like a little paper clip or something and you push it in there, it'll pop out with your physical SIM card. Now, if you don't have a physical SIM card, you'll need to go into the store, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, wherever you go, and basically they'll give you a physical SIM card. But if you already have one of those, the next thing what we'll do is we'll tap on a web browser and we'll just type in AT&T customer support or wherever you basically use your cell phone carrier through. So on here, I will call AT&T and basically said, hey, I deleted my eSIM card. This is my physical SIM card. They'll ask you to read those numbers on that physical SIM card. They'll register it to your specific phone. And then you've basically gone through the process of deleting that eSIM and then reinstalling or authenticating that physical SIM card in your phone. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.